first, if one of you would please kind of share what the definition is of an immunocompromised person. Can you tell our audience what that means for someone to be immunocompromised? Do you want to take it, Derek, or you want me to? <laughs> sure. So immunocompromised, it is a very big word. Uh, essentially, it's, it's anybody that their immune system may not be working exactly the way it's meant to be. So it, it can be somebody with chronic issues, such as they may have had a transplant or uh, something of that nature, a health issue. Um, you know, maybe it's an autoimmune disease, which is kind of a really big word to say that they have something um, that their body just kind of naturally rejects things against itself. Like what's it, an example of, of an autoimmune disease? Oh, Ooh. sure. Uh, well, that's a tough one. I'm trying to remember one right off the top of my head. <laughs> 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 difficult. But like Graves' disease. Okay, um, so rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid disease. arthritis is probably a very common one. Okay. Uh, things of that nature. Um, okay. Also, it can be medically induced. So people that are on high dose steroids, maybe as part of like a chemotherapy treatment or things mm -hmm. of that nature, okay. steroids can reduce our, our immune system as well. Okay. Um, so it's one of those things that it's definitely a conversation to have, especially with providers like Raj who are doing it at community pharmacy. If you have questions about if you feel you're immunocompromised, you know, to ask those pharmacists because they'll be able to kind of help you uh, work through those waters and decide with that.